to start working with Polari, find a dark location, preferably far from cities out in nature, and choose a night when bright moon is not in the sky. Preferably use a digital SLR camera, although Polari works for film cameras and any compact cameras too, but their performance in low light are far from DSLR cameras. Your camera setting needs to be on manual, both the shutter speed and lens aperture, as well as the ISO, which is generally known as the camera sensitivity. It's also best to focus the lens manually, either by taking few pictures and fine-tuning the focus, or live view, which is a function available on all the newer DSLR cameras. You are able to see the brighter stars and planets on your screen live view, especially when digitally magnifying it 5 or 10 times. Remember three golden numbers to begin starscape imaging. Use ISO 1600, set shutter speed to 30 seconds or so, and lens aperture at f2.8. You can try longer exposures for deeper images of the sky. Don't forget to shoot night escape images in RAW to save all the data needed for better processing, so better to avoid JPEG saving. An advantage for a small portable tracking mounts like Polar is that you can have it as an accessory for your DSLR camera always with you on trips. So that gives you the option whenever you find dark skies in a location, you have this option to turn your digital camera to a sky imaging device. Polari Star Tracker is not designed for telescopes. It's for cameras, either digital SLR cameras or compact, with various lenses. So it has the wave limit of about 3 kilograms. That gives you a wide range of views for many kinds of cameras, many kinds of lenses.